What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Charlie Turner. Thank you very much for stopping by. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say if you do enjoy watching, please don't forget to like down below and also to subscribe to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing another Nike off-white trainer. I managed to pick up the Air Force One, which I'm buzzing about. This trainer is so fire. It's definitely up there as one of my favourites. If you do follow the channel, you know I unboxed the Nike off-white blazer, which is just there. A few videos back, it got a really good response, so I'm going to kind of go at it with the same style. I'm going to go into detail about the trainer, I'm going to show you what it looks like on, and then just give you guys more of like a closer look. As you can see guys, we've got the inside out box there, which Virgil actually took from Tom Sachs. Soft white paper in there, which is pretty awesome, I love the way they've done that. Before we get rid of the box, I'm just going to show you the laces that you get. I've already opened them up a little bit, so you get a pair of white laces with like green lace tips, which is pretty cool. And then you get a pair of black laces with some orange lace tips. This trainer is so, so clean. I love it. It's so cool. Every time I see like a Nike off-white trainer in the flesh, no matter what style it is, I just like it more and more. In hand, they look so much better than what they do in picture. There's so many cool bits of detailing on here. Honestly, they've absolutely smashed this 10 collection. We start with the big swoosh. What I really like about this is that it's actually stitched on. Where I have the blazer, they've actually glued the Nike swoosh on. So that's stitched on, and it actually overlaps a little bit onto the lace eyelets, which is pretty cool. And the whole of the upper is translucent, so the Nike tick is translucent. Whilst I'm working my way around the trainer, I'll show you guys the sole. So the sole is translucent. On the side, it says air in quotation marks, and it just goes all the way around. They're really similar to the Nike blazer. On the heel, they've got a nice bit of grey suede. There's a mini swoosh logo, and above it actually says logo in quotation marks. The only other bit of suede on this trainer is along the lace eyelids and threaded through is like the old school Air Force laces, which is so sick. Moving up the trainer, you've got the giant zip tag, and for any of you guys that don't know, it just says Off-White CO Nike 2017 zip tie. As we work our way up to the tongue and the sock lining, what I really like about this is like the sock lining isn't finished and it gives it such a cool little effect. And the tongue is like an inside out tongue, and like the detailing on it is just mad. Like they did for the Nike blazer and the rest of the trainers, they've actually moved the Nike logo along to the left part of the tongue. And inside the trainer is a little bit more off-white branding. You've got the off-white cross there and it just says the 10. Moving around the side of the trainer, you've got the off-white collaboration stamp, which I'm a huge fan. I think it's a really cool little effect. It just says off-white for Nike, Air Force One, Beaverton Origin, USA, 1982. And I just love the way like the translucent swoosh just kind of makes it look a little bit faded and blurry. It looks awesome. And as we look at the front of the Air Force, all the other Air Forces usually have like air holes there on the toes, but instead they've actually been filled with like this grey mesh material. As we go back to the outside of the trainer, you've got the translucent swoosh there with that little bit of orange material. In terms of the Air Force as a silhouette, um, I used to wear Air Forces a lot back in the day, like when I was like 14, 15, but I kind of went off it. And the thing I like about this Nike, the 10 collection, it makes people wear trainers they wouldn't usually wear. So for me personally, like, I've never worn like a Nike blazer, and um, I haven't worn Air Force ones for ages, so it's kind of like making me go back to my roots and wearing the trainers I'd usually wear. But I would say go true to size, guys, unless you can try them on first, I'd recommend doing that. And in regards to styling these trainers, I'm not too sure if I should do a video solely about how to style the Air Force One and the Night Blazer, but my advice would be wear like more of like a regular fitting trouser, not like a skinny, skinny jean, because where they're quite chunky, they don't look that good with a skinny jean. I'll probably be wearing these with like some track pants or like my kappa trousers, and this is how they look on. If you weren't so lucky and didn't manage to pick up a pair, I'd really recommend checking Depop. There's so many off-white night trainers available on there. I just think where so many people won them, they're just going for all kinds of prizes. I think I've seen a pair of these on there for like 300 quid. And where they've actually released the trainers three times now, the resale value is going down. Of course, make sure they're completely legit before buying. If you want a second opinion, just let me know. There's some good news as well though, guys. Nike did reveal that they will be releasing more trainers with Virgil Abloh and Off-White towards the back end of 2018. A few pictures have already surfaced on Instagram. There's a picture here of the Jordan 1 in white and a Vapor Max in a white colorway. So just keep an eye on social media and I'm sure you'll see a few more. That's it, there's nothing else to say. Apart from these are so fire. I'm so happy to have them and I can't wait to start wearing them. If I did miss anything, Drop it in the comments down below, guys, and I'll get back to you. Before I shoot off, guys, I just want to you know about a giveaway I'm currently doing. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'll be giving away a £50 ASOS gift voucher. To be in with a chance to win that, you have to be doing two simple things. One, you've got to be subscribed to the channel, just down below. The second is you've got to be following me on Instagram. There's my Instagram there, guys. Go check it out, daily men's fashion pictures. And there's going to be a few pictures of these on there as well, so definitely give it a follow if you want to check that out. You need to be following me on Instagram because I'm going to be contacting the winner via Instagram. And that is it. That is so simple and so easy. And it just gives you a chance on a £50 gift card. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Go check out the rest of my channel. It's going to be linked at the end of this video. My name's Charlie Turner. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care. <laughs>